All right, so this video is gonna suck. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat here. I've got one of the telehandlers. That is a 9K that we did some work on before. And this one is the one that had the exploded planetary, which was this one right here. Seems to be holding fluid. Uh, the reason I'm making this video though is because I want to give you any information I can about uh, boom, disassembly, reassembly, ram removal uh, is what we actually did on the cat telehandler. Now it appears there's some kind of problem with this telehandler. The last I was operating it there was fluid coming out of uh, this guy right here and I'll be, I'll be perfectly honest with you uh, I'm gonna I gotta start probably saying this in all my videos I'm not a mechanic I just do this a lot so uh, take that with a grain of salt uh, you know this is for entertainment purposes so uh, where are my dogs at hey uh, okay so this telehandler has the same assembly as far as I can tell it's identical assembly and one of your problems you're going to have when you're removing this ram is getting this pin out is probably seized in and you know don't bang your head against the wall trying to get this pin out if it's seized it's seized to the point to where you ain't going to get it out even the shop where we took it to to get the ram rebuilt wasn't able to push this pin out so you're gonna to have to take it into a pretty serious place and uh, if you can't get it off the bat just don't don't even bother there's a way around it. You can get it out with removing this whole carriage assembly, uh, which sucks because you're gonna have to take, this is the rod that attaches to the chain that goes around the bogey wheel on the front of the boom, and then comes back and attaches, or, uh, or actually, sorry, goes around that bogey wheel and then back to the front uh, I believe I'm gonna have a better look when I get to the other this machine might be a slightly different so uh, but nonetheless you're gonna have to pull this apart and then when you disassemble the chain from that uh, where it's pinned in the carriage which I believe there's uh, two chains in this but we'll see on the when I get to the other one so you'll be able to pull that pin off that carriage and then pull this rod out with the chain attached to it and then that'll allow you to uh, slide this whole assembly out there's going to be a quite a bit of stuff you take apart when you go to do this disassembly and the reason i'm making this video is because the service manual is not clear at all and left a bunch of stuff out and i'm not sure if we got the wrong procedure I didn't have access to the service manual myself, so there could have been a different procedure in the manual. But nevertheless, let's have a look at the front of this boom here. And as we take a few inside, it's too far away. So I'm gonna go grab the other machine, which is down here. Uh, I got here just in time. It looks like this machine's gonna come out of here on uh, tomorrow, on Monday. So. Uh, it's going back into service. I assume they took care of all the other mechanical problems. Uh, I doubt it, but there's wishful thinking. So that is the telehandler. And this telehandler we also had brake seal issues with. I mean, there's a whole arrangement, a whole array of issues you have with these telehandlers. They're you're constantly working on them, and if you're not, you're going to have a serious issue. So take that into mind. It's better just fixing it now. So on this telehandler, looks like they got the cover on the back, so we're not gonna get a good look at that either. That's unfortunate. But we can get into the front panel and see what I can tell you from there. You know, I'm leaving a bunch of stuff out. I wasn't even here for the reassembly of this machine. So you are going to probably miss a bunch of the headache they had during reinstallation. I heard the guy actually hyper extended his elbow getting that rod and chain assembly back into the machine. And here's a disclaimer. 
Don't even try this unless you have serious lifting equipment. We had two telehandlers and a bobcat to get this out. We could have done it in the shop, but there's just they have proper hoisting equipment. Right, here we have okay that plate right there has what appears to be some sort of dowel coming out of the bottom of it that's basically just a spacer i believe so when this thing really gets rocking in there it just keeps it from moving too terribly far it rides back and forth along this track you have your hoses in here as well i believe the hoses came partially out we just disconnected them and then pulled them off around the one side and laid them out while we pulled the chain out completely so you'll end up taking this plate right off and you'll see there's two guides in behind that plate that uh, don't allow the hoses from coming too far off one of those guides the bottom one I believe is going to give you problems on the bottom of the back of the boom assembly the uh, I don't think it's the inner assembly I think it's the second uh, assembly the middle uh, that one has the bogey wheel, I believe, on the back of it, and you end up hitting that bottom guard on this side on the bogey wheels on the back side. So what you end up doing is taking the shims off of the either inner, well, take them, take them all out, just, just to make it easier for yourself. Take all the shims out of the back for the bottom parts of the boom, which will give you more clearance to allow you to really tweak that ram at a low angle to get it to get the guide that uh, guide in the front to go over top of your bogey wheel you have really have to drop your ram down and allow we ended up actually breaking that piece off of this one and it's not really necessary because this plate here gives it enough rigidity and we don't expect to have any problems by not having that one piece on there. Uh, let me try to think if I can give you any other information. Come on, dogs. Come on. Again, I wasn't there for reassembly. This is going to be a nightmare getting it back together. Especially if that carriage on the back of the ram doesn't come out. Uh, so, like I say, you bring the ram out as flat as you can, and then you can drop it down, and then that'll allow the front to come up and over that bogey wheel. You're really going to fight with that. You're also going to fight getting, see, the rod on the top, and then the chain goes around the front, and then to the back, and then I believe that's where there's a block on that carriage assembly, and then the chain goes back around in this way. So what you do to separate that is there's a pin in the block on the back there and that allows part of the chain to flop back like this and then the rest of the chain can go all the way through and back as you pull that rod out. Got it? That's really the bulk of the work you're going to be doing on this. Uh, we have... What else is there? There. You know, you get that chain out, and it, it says you can put strings on it to get it to go back and through and around, but that's only if you're just removing the chain. That's important if you're only pulling the chain out because you have, you know, a broken chain or, you know, some hoses or whatever, then you fasten string to them, and then, and then as you pull the one side out, it pulls the string back through so you can feed it back in and around. You know, that's a good uh, thing to remember when you go to put this back in. If you are lucky enough to get that carriage off the back, you can, when you go to put it back in, make sure there's a string around it in place of where the chain would be. And then you could, uh, once you get it in, then you just pull on that string and it'll pull the chain in and around it. And in an ideal scenario, uh, it's likely not going to be ideal. Now, the other thing is, say you want to actually you know you have uh, somebody tweak your boom you got to do a, a boom removal that's honestly an easier route to go about this had I do that had I done this again I would have just propped the boom up so that when it was nice and level 
uh, put some dunnage under the front here and then you could do all your disassembly in the norm normally as you would but you could leave that that boom inside that center section and then you could hoist around the neck of this here and then just slide that center boom section out and then pull your ram out once it's sitting you know on some sawhorses out of the machine that would have been much an easier route to go but we we're already in about to our necks doing it this way so we just continued on uh, that way but pulling this boom apart isn't bad at all uh, I really wish uh, you know I could have given you some pictures of when this was more disassembled and then I could explain to you why it's really not that big of a deal at all but uh, if you think you have to go down that path uh, don't 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 hesitate it's really not that bad as long as you have the proper equipment and I think, you know, if I can remember anything, I'll add to this video. But I think that's, unfortunately, all I can give you for now. I hope that helps.